different hand. That's a lot of kids, isn't it? <laughs> I'll get out of the way for those of you that are snapping away. And while you are, I'd like to thank Ms. Liz Plosnicker of Images Uniquely Yours. She comes out here and takes pictures all the way through the program. Lots and lots of photos with every kid at some point or another. And it's available to purchase. There are order forms on the music stands on your way out. And these photo DVDs have literally hundreds of pictures on them. And if you're a scrapbooker or if you have family who can't attend, it's a really great way to um, keep the memories alive. So um, thank you, Ms. Posnecker, for um, making that available to us. Our program this evening is all about jazz music, so we hope you enjoy the music and learn a little bit, too. Give me just a moment to get set up, and we are going to rock this house. Creoles, who 
were descendants of mixed African, French, and Spanish heritage. There was also people from Europe, Latin America, and the Caribbean. All of these different kinds of people had their own musical traditions. There were brass bands and ragtime pianists, <coughs> symphony orchestras, and blues musicians, just to name a few. Jazz began to emerge when different peoples and their music began to blend together. Early jazz featured syncopation, blue notes, and improvisation. But jazz is not just one, of, one style of music. It includes many styles like Dixieland, bebop, swing, or blues. The blues is a musical style that originated in the African-American community. It came from plantation love songs, spirituals, and field callers or cults. It was used to express sadness or difficulties and challenges through music. Not all jazz tunes are blues, and not all blues tunes are jazz. In fact, the blues has found its way into almost every style of the 20th century music, from folk to rock, country pop, and of course, jazz. The word jazz has even become another way of saying sad. So if you find yourself feeling sad, at least you know you can always sing the blues. Actually, it got to be so famous that some traditional jazz groups hated to play time and time again. 
Today there are jazz clubs in the French Quarter of New Orleans that post signs that read, Request $5, Saints $20. Although the quarters are part of the original Dixieland jazz groups, there are no strict rules. So here's the fourth grade recorders playing the Dixieland classic when the Saints can march again.
you've heard of Dixieland tune, what exactly is Dixieland? Dixieland music come about as a blending of African rhythms and improvisation with European instruments like the trumpet, clarinet, and trombone. Dixieland musicians combine musical ideas from brass band marches, ragtime, or blues over a steady rhythm played by a rhythm section. A rhythm section usually has a piano, guitar, or banjo, bass, or tuba, and drums. Some of the instruments in a Dixieland group play a melody while others improvised or jazzed up the melody. Dixieland jazz is also known as New Orleans jazz or traditional jazz. It wasn't actually called Dixieland until it started to move north out of New Orleans. Because New Orleans is on the Mississippi River, it was easy for musicians to travel north, bringing their music with them. Other cities that quickly became known for jazz included Kansas City, St. Louis, Chicago, and New York. Young Americans in particularly really like this new style of music. They love to listen to it and to dance to it. Radios and record players are becoming more widely available, which also helped the popularity of jazz. Almost anyone can listen to it on American airwaves, in dance halls, and even in their own homes. Jazz truly was spreading across the land. 